Hi everybody, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to attempt to do a um, tutorial on these um, keychains I've been making. Now, a while back I did these keychains like this with the yarn at the bottom and Kimbo Creations. So Kim, if you're watching, she had asked me to do a tutorial. So I haven't been able to get to it, but I'm going to try and do it now. Okay, so um, I made this and I used different color beads. I used gold down here, the yarn, and a little charm at the top, okay? And the lobster hook. So what I decided I was going to try and do today was I was going to make these panda ones because I got these little wooden panda heads from Allie and they are awesome, you guys. I just ordered some more today because um, they're going to take a while to get. You get, uh, I think, 10 in a package. I'll, if I can find the link again, I'll leave it down below for the the link for the panda heads and also this little tiny panda at the top, the little charm. I showed those in a haul the other day too. Um, and then I just used the Michaels beads um, that we got, the black and white that we got um, when they were on clearance. Were they Michaels? This might have been Hobby Lobby. These were Hobby Lobby, I'm sorry. Um, Hobby Lobby and Michaels had them both on um, clearance about the same time. So anyway, they look how cute. Cute and adorable, right? All right, let's get started because I don't want this video to be too long. And of course, I know I'll be, um, you know, messing up. All right, so I got a piece of cardboard here and I taped it off to make it a little bit stronger. Um, this way is four and a half. The width wise is three and a half. Okay. And to get this size um, tassel, this long I'm going to use the four and a half um, side okay so I have some black and white now if you don't want to do panda and you want to do something that has a solid color you can skip a few steps but I'm going to show you um, the steps that I have to do to get the black and white together okay all right you take the end of the string make sure that it's at the bottom okay hold it with your finger and then start wrapping this way and the reason you do that is because that string will end up, um, you know, as long as the um, tassel. You don't want a string sticking out in the middle of the tassel. And if you put it up here, then when you cut it, it's going to stick out the middle. So I always bring it down to the bottom, hold it with your finger. Um, I don't, I don't know how many times you want to wrap it. It depends on how chunky you want your um, tassel to be. Um, I've been doing. Um, a little bit of white I think probably about 15 times or so okay now when I get to the last one now if you're doing one color you don't have to do um, don't have to do this step right now until you complete your tassel at the bottom okay but because I want this black and white I have to split it but you need a long piece at the top so and it doesn't matter how long make it long because it, you can cut it later, but you can't grow it later is what I say. So you got this long piece and it's at the top. Okay, I'm still holding on to the bottom piece. You got that long piece, just the last swirl over and you just leave it hanging there for a minute. Okay, now I'm going to switch colors because I'm doing black and white. But like I said, if you're going to do one color like I did with this one, you don't have to do this extra step to change the colors in the yarn, okay? Um, my white yarn has a little bit of silver uh, foil look to it, which is really pretty. And I got these yarns at the Reuse It shop. Um, and this one's a little thicker, the black one, but it doesn't matter. Now, where's my end? <laughs> oh my gosh, where's the end? See, I told you, this is going to take a little bit because I'm like not great with tutorials just so you know <laughs> I'm not a professional okay so I take my black I hold my white up here take the black do the same thing make sure it's down the bottom hold it with your finger and I'm just gonna strand this right next to the white I'm not gonna go too much over the white um, just next to it a little bit Okay, that should be enough. And I'm going to make sure that the bottom, I do the last thing like this. This is still at the top. I do the last roll 
and at the bottom you want to cut it at the bottom again okay you want to try to keep your yarn um even all right so here's that piece still up at the top now i'm going to do a little bit more white this is what i did with the other ones i don't need a whole lot and like i said if you're particular you can count your um turns so you can have you know you know how much you need but um i'm not counting i'm just rolling it going with the flow so put this at the bottom again i'm going to roll next to the black but i'm going to also bring bring it over into the into the into the black or on top of the black a little bit okay and that should be enough okay so what i'm going to do is bring it down again and cut it at the bottom just as long as you're cutting your your end pieces at the bottom and not in the middle because of you know you don't want your tassel to be it is going to be uneven i do end up trimming it but um if you can keep them the same length it's better okay so now what i do is i take a piece of yarn just like this okay and you want to go in underneath on the part that has the string hanging out okay this is the string hanging out the top so this is your top so you put the put the yarn underneath and you want to when you're rolling this you want to roll it um, with a little bit of slack in it if you do it too tight your cardboard's going to start to come up and then when you go to cut it your um your tassel is going to be way um off centered like you're going to have one part that's going to be real short and the other part will be real long so it'll be hard to trim it um it'll end up really really short okay so you want to make sure that you get when you're rolling this you want to give it a little slack don't pull too tight okay all right so this is my string at the top so i leave that one there and then i'm trying to get this in camera and then you um take the string that you put underneath and you want to tie now i like to make sure that my um ties are really really tied like really tight i do it tight and then I might do a surgical knot. And then I could go under again with one side and put this string under and go on this side. Pull it up so it's not, um, you know, so it's even. Okay. And then tie off again. Now, I do this a few times, you guys. Keep tying and tying and tying until um, you think that it's secure enough, okay? All right, this one should be good. All right, so now what I'll do is take these and cut them. You don't need these. They're not going to be even with the rest of the pom-pom, I mean the tassel anyway. Just toss that, okay? So now this is what you're left with. You got your long piece. You got your tie up here. You can push it up towards the top as much as you can get it because then that will leave the tassel kind of like an even amount, okay? And you got your long piece that's still sticking out. Now, because I tied it on this side, what I do is I flip it over and I go to the bottom and I cut it on this side, okay? And I do that because this side, if you cut it on the side that you knotted it, it's going to be really short. Okay. So at this point, if you're, if you're a little bit off and you don't think it's even enough, you can try to slide that knot down a little bit and then you can, you know, bring it down like this and make sure it's somewhat even. Okay. Now this is very important. Okay. The string that the long piece of string that you left okay you have to pull it just gently just a little bit to find the other end because now you cut it I want to find the piece that this is attached like because you cut it and you have to tie it off if you don't tie it off everything's gonna fall apart on you okay so I just pull it and it looks like this is the one 
Yep. This string right here is the one that's with this one, okay? So now what you do is you you found that other end. You That's very important that you tie this off. Keep this piece long, okay? But make sure that you tie this off because if you don't, when you put your beads on, um, that whole piece, that big long piece is gonna pull right out of the tassel and you, it'll fall apart, okay? So I just tie it a few times. Sorry, my fingers don't work. I'm trying to get it tied here, okay? Tie it, tie it a couple times, you guys, because you wanna make sure that it's secure. But that is a very important step, okay? You just pull gently on it until you can see the string move on the other side, and that's how you find the other end, okay? So I flipped the pump, I flipped the tassel over. I'm gonna tie a knot on this side. You just keep tying it till you think that it's good enough, okay? All right, I think this will be good. Okay, now this piece is not that long. You can leave it or you can cut it. I think I'll just leave it in there <clears throat> until I trim, okay? So now you have your long piece and you have this. You wanna put your tassel down together Fluff it out, do whatever you gotta do with it to make it, okay? And before you trim it, what I like to do is you have to do the top. Now, because this is the black and white, I wanna do it with black, but when I did these, um, I tied it with string and then I wrapped some um, gold uh, ribbon around it and hot glued it and I glued the bow. So you can do that as well. But what I'm gonna do is take a piece of this black, Give yourself enough room. I mean, you don't probably need all this, but okay. Now, when you're getting ready to tie this, you want to leave enough on the end so you can tie it. So you want to hold that with your thumb and wrap. Wrap as tight as you can with the long part, okay? Wrap it. Just keep going until you think it's good, okay? You gotta just wrap it really tight. And the reason you left that long piece was so you had something to um, tie the knot with. If you go too short, you won't have enough to tie it, okay? So put a few knots in it. Now I'm an over knotter, <laughs> if that's such a thing, um, because I like to make sure that it is very, very secure and very tight okay all right now the two pieces that you just knotted you can cut those off i'm just going to take and snip them off okay all right so now you have this i hope i was in camera you guys it's really hard to i gotta bring it towards me to do it so hopefully i was in camera um if you want you can pull down a few of these to make this a little tight but i think mine's pretty tight okay so now you have the long piece sticking out the top, and this is where you're gonna do your beads, okay? And that's why you leave that long piece. Now, I have these needles here. They have a large opening at the top. The eye is, is large. They're called doll needles, but if you're really good with uh, sewing and stuff, you could use those needles that are open like a split needle. I don't have any of those and it's really hard for me to put the yarn through there. So what I do is I take a little piece of tape. Now you don't have to do this. If you're good at, at uh, doing your needles, then, you know, but the, the yarn is thick, so it's hard. I just put it at the top and I just wrap it around, giving it, I didn't take a big enough piece, giving it a little, um, you see where the tape is, see the tape is on here. It's, you flatten it as much as you can. And this is just, this is just to thread my needle. If you guys are good at threading needles and you could, you don't have to do this. And that, this just helps me put this through here. And I just pull it through and now I can pull the tape off. I don't need it. 
okay that's all i do that uh, that's all the reason i use the tape is just so um let's stick into my finger <laughs> i'm trying to put it in the garbage um so take this out pull it a little bit so you have enough space you don't want to be too short because you don't want your needle to slip off okay now at this point um i'm gonna put a bow you don't have to put a bow it's really up to you i put bows back to back and i stick them to each other um and then you'll get this at the bottom on both sides now i don't have any more that with those with the tail so i'm going to use the bow tie ones um, you just find the back, make sure you're both on the back. And what I do, you can use hot glue if you want. Um, hot glue for me is messy. So I'm just going to take out these little dots. These are very strong dots. I got these from Tuesday morning. And I'm going to do about five because this is a bigger bow. If it's a smaller bow, like the other one I just showed you, that one I just did, um, I think I did three, uh, three dots. Stick them back in there these are those sticky thumb ones from uh i have the so much left and i got these on clearance um at tuesday morning all right so now you take your bow take these things off and like i said you can make this a lot faster if you used um hot glue but i don't want to take the hot i don't want to heat my gun up and it's just messy for me i hate strings on hot glue and all that and these dots have been working for me, so they're pretty strong. So I'm just pushing them down on the bow to the paper releases it. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, and I'm just gonna put one more on either side to make sure that it is really secure and it's really going to stick good. I knew that was going to happen. It stuck to my finger. Come on, get off there. See what I mean? The, the, these dots are so strong. Okay, one more. Okay, I'm just going to stick this one on there. Hold this like the edge where it's not sticky. Okay. Okay. Now I put this underneath as close as you can get it to the top there. The back of the bow. I have make sure that you got the other side in the back and just stick it to each other. That's what I've been doing. And of course, I'm on video and I'm a little off. That's all right. That's fine. <clears throat> okay. So there's my bow at the bottom. Now, like I said, you don't have to do a bow if you don't want to, um, but I like the bow there, okay? All right, now I take my needle. Hopefully it didn't come off. That's why I make sure I have enough here so it don't slide off. And now you wanna start your beading. So I'm gonna take the panda head, and these are wood beads, you guys, and I got them from Allie. Um, and I'll do that. Okay, now because his head is small, I'm going to start with a small bead. And you can make these as long as you want. Um, I have two big beads and three small beads. I think they're long enough this way. Um, if you're doing all small beads, you might want to put um, five or six beads on. Just depends. But you don't want it to be too too long either so all right so all my beads are strong right now you want to take your needle and that's why it's important to try to find a long needle okay like i said these are doll needles i got these at michael's in the yarn section um but they're pretty long so i want to take this and i want to go back down through um through the beads okay so you go back down through and with yarn, it's difficult. You have to be careful. You don't put the pin through the middle of the yarn because you know how yarn is like um, three or four strands together. Okay, keep going. Oh, you know what? I messed up, you guys. OMG. I forgot the... Um... Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Let me see if I can get this. 
to go back through. I missed a step. This is why I don't do um, tutorials, you guys. Okay, let me see if I can get this to come back out. Hold on. I should be able to pull it right back out. Go back through their needle. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to pull the beads off. There you go. And now I'm going to redo the beads. Hold on. So I got the big one, a smaller one, a big one, and a smaller one. Okay. This is where I forgot the step. All right. So we have the beads on. Okay. Before you go back down through the beads, you want to make sure that you put your split ring. I'm using split rings. Okay. Put it through the needle. Have it go all the way down to your bead. All right, and now you're going to go back down through the beads. Because now um, by doing this, you're putting um, that jump ring is going to be stuck on there. You know what I mean? Okay. Go down through the panda head and then pull. Pull this all the way through, okay? And now it's stopped, but I need to take the piece that's um, the loose piece. Just pull it all the way through, and then now you can take your needle off, okay? So now what you want to do is you want to pull this as tight as you can get it. Um, you want all your beads to go down as tight as they can get, okay? It's difficult. you got to hold it, and you got to pull as tight as you can get that, okay? That makes a big difference, Um to have it tight because there's your jump ring at the top now with this string I'm gonna just wrap it a few times all right now I'm gonna put my finger there I'm gonna wrap over my finger so I can have I can tie the knot okay put the string underneath tie your knot Okay, I do that a few more times. I put my finger there, wrap around my finger. This gives me the loop so I can pull and make my knot. Do it a couple more times. Round my finger, makes a loop. Put this, make your knot with that and pull it through. Okay, so I'm going to do it a few more times. You don't have to do it a few more times. It's really up to you. Um, but I, like I said, I'm a not uh, crazy person. I like to have it knotted, 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 and secure. Okay? Make sure that you don't get your bow all crimped up in the knot. I've done that. This one should be enough. Okay? So I'm going to pull that. Okay, so now we have the beads and we have the jump ring at the, I mean, the split ring at the top, right? Now, if you don't pull your beads tight enough, you're going to get a, a lot of play between the jump ring and the bead, which really it doesn't make a difference, but I like mine to be right up against the bead like that. Okay, now you can take this string in your hand and you can cut that. You can cut it down as short as you can get it so it's not sticking out okay all right so there's that cute huh i love it okay now take another split ring and where'd my tweezers go okay the needle in there um i have a hard time because of my hands i don't i can't split these open that off like that good so I use my tweezers to open it a little bit. And then you put your lobster claw or lobster hook, whatever it is that you're using. And you guys, this takes me a little bit of time. Hold on. Be patient, please. Okay. So I got it. Please don't come out. Don't come out. Okay. All right. All right, so I got my little split ring on there on the lobster claw. Now, I need to attach this split ring to the other one. Okay. 
And again, my fingers don't work. And I don't know how, I don't have the editing, edit software to edit my videos. So you just have to bear with me with my bloopers. <laughs> All right, so I need to get this on there. Oh my gosh, here we go again. Told you, you guys. My arthritis just doesn't like this. I did the I did the um one just before this one. I did one and it went right on and I said figures because I'm not on video, right? Okay, I think I got it. Okay. So now we have um two split rings in your claw, okay? And the reason I put two on here is because when you're hanging a charm on it, I'd rather have the charm on the one that's attached to the claw because it gives it a little space to dangle, to hang, to hang off. Okay, so now I'm going to open this split ring again, the one that's attached to the claw. And I'm gonna put my charm on. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna put my charm on. Okay, I think I got it in there. All right, sorry you guys. Just like I said, my hands just... All right, so now I have my my tassel my beads my little charm and you don't have like this one is a panda one but this one i just put like a little butterfly charm on it it's really cute too all right and the last thing you want to do is um trim your tassel so i have all pull the you know kind of put your fingers through it and pull the threads down i hold it like this and then i'm going to put it over my trash can and cut it Okay, see, I just trim it like that and then I let it go. So now your tassel is even, okay? And that's how I make my keychain um, tassels. Now, I hope that wasn't too difficult, Kim. I hope I was in frame. Hopefully I was in frame. Um, it's hard for me like I said I'm trying to do my best because you guys are asking me to do with the tutorials so I'm trying to do my best um, and do them but so this is all the ones that I did some of them have the black and white stripes with hearts and these have hearts this one has stars this one has stars and then I didn't have any more black and um, white stripe ones so this one here has the silver but then I did the black beads with the white hearts instead so it's still black and white but it has the silver on it and there are all my keychains that I did today I love them they came out so cute like I was thinking of doing them and I you know I just thought to myself well let me give them a try let me see if it'll work and if it will then I'll do a tutorial so um I will leave the link down below if you want to go to the alley and buy the panda heads these are wood beads and the store i got these in they have other wood beads too like this that have the hole that go down through different kind of bears they have like little girls which are really cute too i think i'll order those next time and then these come 10 in a pack and then these come 20 in a pack and these are the little bears now when i got these i had one that was broken um, and I'm going to keep that one because it was broken. But I used E6000 and his ear was off. And I put the ear right back on. But I, I don't want to put him on a charm because I don't want it to break. While you know, if somebody buys these from me, I don't want it to break. So I only had one broken one out of um, the 20 that you get. 
okay? So I will leave the links, like I said, down below. And even if you're not interested in the panda beads, they have other wood beads like this that you might be interested in. My hooks today, these are the hooks from um, uh, BB Craft, okay? So if you're interested in these hooks, these are the silver hooks from BB Craft. And I will try to um, find the link for these and I'll leave that down below as well, okay? All right, you guys, thank you so much for being so patient and, and um, watching. <laughs> I uh, Like I said, I try my best. And Kim, I hope you're watching because I know you've been waiting a long time for this tutorial. All right, you guys, have a good night. God bless, and we'll see you next time. Bye.